a wave of student sex assault claims has hit Los Gatos. Its high school district is now accused of allowing a culture of denial. In a two-part investigation, Candace Wynn looks into this emotionally charged movement that has many splits. For the majority of my life, I was so excited for high school. I was like, this is going to be it. It's going to be like the movies. And then I feel like it all just got ripped away from me. What's happening here at Los Gatos High School? It's a serious question facing school officials after an outpouring of mostly off-campus sexual misconduct stories by current and former students. It started with Mia Lazoya. I was raped. February 8th last year, Mia Lazoya was a Los Gatos High School freshman. She says she'd been drinking at a house with an upperclassman. And then one thing led to another, and I was begging for him to stop, and he wouldn't. And my head was just hitting the wall. According to court documents, Lazoya reported she had been with the student before, but this time she didn't consent. She says she stopped going to school, couldn't sleep, and finally broke down and told her mother later that month. She just called me and told me it would be okay. Her parents went to police and filed a report with the school district under Title IX. The law prohibits sex discrimination at federally funded schools, requiring the institutions to investigate sexual harassment allegations. Was the school ready for this Title IX case? The school is not ready, no. Los Gatos' high school district didn't have a Title IX coordinator at the time and hired outside help. Lazoya says the person treated her insensitively and she emotionally shut down. The investigator found the district and the accused abuser weren't at fault, Lazoya's parents say. They also learned there wasn't enough evidence to charge the young man. I just remember feeling so broken. That feeling turned to anger and in June, Lazoya posted about her experience on Instagram. Her post sparked a movement. It started with fellow students forming a group called From Survivors for Survivors. Then they created the Me Too LGHS Instagram page, where dozens of current and former Los Gatos high school teens shared similar sexual misconduct experiences, most from the last several years. Then there was a rally and even a documentary. Los Gatos High School itself is ranked highly, among others, in the Bay Area of STEM curriculum and college preparedness. Mia Lozoya People always say, I don't know how I'm not sure you shared it, your story but so quickly, but I just don't know how people keep it inside for so long. Just how widespread is this problem is hard to say. Tracking student-involved sex assaults is challenging. We found many Bay Area school districts track incidents involving their students, but some don't or just started. And we couldn't find anyone compiling data from different sources like police and schools. In fact, one district said authorities are under no obligation to notify the school. Los Gatos High School's superintendent, Mike Grove, wrote in an email to us, off-campus crimes are one of the greatest challenges a school or district faces. And there are cases where alleged victims don't immediately come forward, like Lissa Broomfield. I didn't think there was any way people would believe me. January 2015, I was raped by a junior. Broomfield says she never felt safe enough to report her attack to the school, and that silence nearly killed her. The police were called on me um, for because of a suicide threat. Respond back and especially Broomfield eventually opened up to her father. They went to police, but no charges were filed. Prosecutors cited a lack of evidence. Her dad penned this letter to the father of my daughter's rapist. This is the hardest letter I've ever had to write, and it will be the hardest letter you will ever have to read. Your son raped my daughter. I will forever be indebted to Mia. <laughs> We reached out to 50 Bay Area districts and found K-12 schools respond to reported sex assaults differently. Some say whether the misconduct happened on or off campus, they have policies to hold abusers accountable. Most, though, including Los Gatos, say if it happened off campus, it's out of their hands. They cite the state's education code, which says schools can only discipline students for school-related misconduct. 
Under Title IX, schools can take some action on off-campus incidents if it has an impact at school. For Mia, they offered to change her schedule so she wouldn't see her alleged abuser. It really does impact you in ways that you wouldn't even imagine. In emails, Superintendent Grove said the district has taken action, launching an independent inquiry, adding a tip line, and expanding counseling. Grove declined to speak with us on camera, but released this pre recorded video to parents. Recently, our district was approached by an NBC Bay Area investigative reporter. That's Megan Farrell, their new Title IX coordinator. We did not want to be in a position to divulge private information about any of our students. The truth is that we take the issue of sexual assault and sexual harassment very seriously. But when students found guilty of abuse are allowed back at school, Me Too LGHS organizers say it sends a dangerous message. It's a dark road this school district has gone down in the past. Well, I really thought things had changed. In 2012, the district's other high school, Saratoga High, lost Audrey Pott to suicide. Sheila Pott is her mother. Do you think there's a culture of denial at the school district? Yes. In part two of our investigation, tonight at 11, we investigate concerns of missteps in the Audrey Pot case and why her family believes that may have set the stage for what we're seeing at Los Gatos High. With the investigative unit, I'm Candace Wen.